Hi, fine, thanks. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Very good. And Fernando, how are you? <laughs> Fernando! Are you alive? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mustafa, are you there? Yes. How are you? Fine, and you? I'm good. I'm good. I like the penguins. That's a cute <laughs> picture. I like it. I like it a lot. Yes. Yeah. Very good. And uh, Terence, how are you? Hi. Hi. I am Terence. I am. I am in Spain. I am in Madrid. I am 42 years old. And I am very happy to join your class. This is my first time in your class. Yes, awesome. Nice to meet you. So, nice to meet you. And uh, Victor, how are you? Uh, I'm good, thanks. I haven't seen you in a while. How have you been? Uh, I have been busy. Good, that's good. Busy is good. Busy is good. So, very good. Awesome, guys. All right, well, um, we are going to have fun today, hopefully. Um, and I have five questions on the board. And I'll read them off to you guys first, and then we'll kind of take a vote on which one you want to discuss first. So, um, we'll just have everyone type in the chat um, the number of the question that you would like to discuss. So um, let's just really quickly go around the room and have um, everyone just say their name and where they're from. So um, Adolfo, we'll start with you. Hi, I'm Adolfo from Brazil. Good. And Anton? My name is Anton. I'm from Ukraine. Very good. And Fernando, are you there? Fernando is still dead. <laughs> Fernando is, is mute. Um, okay, Juan? Hi, hi everybody. I am Juan from Mexico. Okay. And Christoph? Hello everybody. I'm Christoph from Silesia. And Mustafa? Hi everybody. I'm from Harsidland. From where? <laughs> You're from... from no, you're mm. not. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, you're not. You're from... Iraq? Yes, that's yes. right. <laughs> okay, I got it right this time. Yeah. Very good. All right, very good. And Terrence? Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, I am from Spain. Very good. And Victor? Oh, hello. I'm Victor. I'm from Vietnam. <clears throat> Okay, guys, so, um, oh, and I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Shanae, and I am from the United States, and I live in California. So, all right, here's the questions for today that you have to choose from. So, question number one, would you want to grow up in the public eye? Basically, would you like to grow up being famous uh, in some way, shape, or form? Um, question number two, are computers better than books for learning? Question number three, is violence ever an acceptable answer? Question number four, does age matter in a relationship? And question number five, is it okay for parents to spank their kids? So, <laughs> so these are the questions you have to choose from. So I will just kind of take a quick vote, and if everybody wants to uh, type in the chat box um, which one they would like to discuss. Okay, it looks like number... 
Looks like number two is going to win out for this one. We're going to discuss more than one, but I'm kind of giving you guys the option of which one you want to talk about first. Okay, so, Sofian. Hi, Sine. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. All right. Okay, so we're going to discuss, the first question we're going to discuss is, are computers better than books? for learning. Okay. All right, so that'll be the first one. Who would like to give their opinion on this first? Adolfo, would you like to start? Okay, um, I would think so. Computers are better than books for learning because I mean, nowadays with the internet, you can have a lot of more options for studying than books because books are kind of Limited. Um, and with computers, you have the chance to search for more materials, for audio, videos, and all new things that we couldn't find easily in a book. Okay, alright. So Adolfo says yes. Um, Anton, what do you think? Are computers better than books? Well, uh, I will say definitely yes. You know, books, it's old school. It's nice. You have to have it. I mean, <laughs> you have to read it. It's, it looks nice when you have some library and some favorite books. Uh, but, you know, uh, nowadays computers contain a lot of stuff for learnings. So on your tablet, I know it's small tablet. You can have lots of books and you know, thousands of books. Some dictionary, some internet. You know, talk to get video talks. You know, with some friends and learn some English or or something. You know, but of course, when you you know some some day you wanna just. Uh, you know, get some calm place with your paper book and uh, get some, you know, get some rest and just read, you know, it's like, uh, I don't know, something about nostalgia or, or something like that. So, but, do, you, uh, do you have a preference for you personally? Do you prefer reading books or do you prefer computers? I prefer computers, you but prefer. sometimes you really want to to read paper book. Okay. But uh, right now computers definitely. Okay. Okay. Now is that just for language learning or is that for all learning for you? I guess it's for everything. For everything. You know, it's more comfortable to get computer for learning. But okay. sometimes of course um, you you want to to get a paper book and to read it instead of computer. Okay. All right. All right. Juan, what do you think? Oh yeah. Well, I, I definitely into computer. Uh, you guys are making me so sad. <laughs> 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 so sorry about it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Keep going. Go ahead. <laughs> no, but but uh, we can deny the computer has a uh, is like more complete. Uh, uh, in this side, for example, in, in a book you, you can practice, and in this uh, here in Colingo you can practice your what you learn, what uh, and you can express, and um, I don't know. I I, I see more more than uh, more convenient to learn okay. into the internet. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, Christoph. Mm, it's a difficult question, uh, and it's the same question like uh, do you like, uh, prefer uh, theater, a cinema, or TV? Mm -hmm. and it's not answer for this question. But for me, I prefer computer <laughs> because I'm a pro computer programmer, I like science. Um, so for me it's computer, but I think uh, this question you can't answer 
it's up to you. You prefer computer or book. Okay. All right. Um, Mustafa, what do you think? Uh, for me, I prefer books. If I want learning on computer, it's hard for me. <laughs> I can get a lot of information. If I want to learn a new thing, I prefer books because I can highlight some sentences, some important things. I can uh, remark some things. I want to refer it later. I, For me, I think books, I prefer I really I don't <laughs> study on computer but if I want make research I go to computer because I can go to the and I can take more information but for learning I prefer books okay alright so computers for research books for learning for you yes <laughs> yeah okay Sofiane what about you I think it's a difficult questions but I have to go with books because <laughs> there is a charm when you flip the page and you turn it. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I study in computer, it's not really efficient because uh, I usually listen to music when I'm studying. Ah. So it's not efficient <laughs> yet. I'd like uh, study, like to study in books. Okay, okay. Um, uh, Terence, what do you think? Do you, do you think yeah. books or computers are better? Well, I'm not sure yet. I think the best will be a balance be between the computers and books. I think books are good because you can focus and concentrate on, on one paragraph and you can translate into your mother tongue. But otherwise, uh, computers, uh, um, like uh, Juan said, like this chat, like colingo.com, is a very, very successful way to speak in English with other people mm -hmm. worldwide to improve your hearing and your understanding and your pronunciation. And the computer has, has the ability to get information very quickly. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, I, I used to improve my understanding watching all, all movies from, mm. from, from Hollywood. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. So in a book, you, you, you can never learn the pronunciation or you can never learn how, how, how to deal in some situation, real, real life situation, because sometimes books are very far away from real life. I don't know mm -hmm. if I, if, if you know what I mean. No, perfect. Yeah, no, excellent. Very good. Very good. Um, Victor, what about you? What do you, what's your opinion on this? Uh, I vote for computers. <laughs> Say that again. I vote for computers. <laughs> for computers, okay. Uh, I think um, computers contain more, much more information than books. And for learning, mm, I can use uh, computers for learning and searching much information and related to others. Area of uh, knowledge. Mm -hmm. mm, I think um, you can do that with book, but it it consumes very big amount of time. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, me personally, not that you care, um, <laughs> but me personally, I don't know. I I think I think it would have to go kind of with. Terrence, and I can't remember if it was Mustafa or Sofiane um, who said that they prefer computers for research and books for learning. And I also agree with Terrence about the balance because I think computers are helpful for certain kinds of learning, like language learning, like what we do here. I think that this is um, very a lot, I think the computer is a lot more helpful for something like language learning. Um, me being a past um, studier of, of Spanish, um, it was always more helpful for me to be in class and listen to my teacher speak or fellow classmates speak rather than just sit there with my Spanish textbook and try to read everything in Spanish. It was very time consuming, it was very difficult, it was boring. Um, you know, it was just, it wasn't too much, it wasn't fun. 
So I, I agree with, um, in terms of language learning, I think that, that could, the computer is the way to go. I also think that um, when it comes to research, you can get your research done a lot faster um, on the computer. You can get um, your res you can get a lot more research done on a computer. But I am old school, <laughs> old school, in the sense of um, I really have um, what's called an affinity. If I can spell that right, affinity. I have an affinity, which means just a, a real love for books. Um, I love to be able to highlight in books. I love to be able to take notes and know that I always, always, always have that. Um, you know, I still, I mean, I still have books from college that are marked up everywhere. Um, and I will never forget, you know, what I learned because I'm a lot more actively involved in my learning process when I'm in a book versus on the computer. So, I don't know. I think both have value. Um, I think that computers are better when it comes to certain kinds of learning, and then I think books are better when it comes to other kinds of learning. So, that's my own personal opinion. But. Uh, I feel when I read book, uh, books, it's uh, more friendly than computer. I agree. I agree. It's more, it's more personable. Yeah. You feel more connected. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. Yeah. I mean, um, I taught a class last week on note taking skills, and somebody brought up, you know, just bringing your laptop or your tablet to class to take notes, and that's never been my thing. I am a big notebook and a pen when it comes to taking notes. These are all notes old notes that I took when I was studying to take the test to teach you guys. And I could have very easily done it all on my laptop, but I don't know. I'm kind of old school. Yeah, old fashioned. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> kind of old fashioned. I like I like my pen and paper and my books. So yeah. So yeah, and that's true. Shay says your your paper book never says to you, Hey, I'm tired, I need to charge my battery. Yeah, that's true. So, yeah, I do. I do have some some old uh, old school tendencies. That's for sure. So, all right, guys. Let's see. So, oh, where's my? I mean, I still use a whiteboard for goodness sake. <laughs> so, I mean, <laughs> we're online, and here I am with a whiteboard. I I don't know. There's just something something magical about the old types of the learning process. You know, um, Juliana and I were talking about it not too long ago. Juliana is one of um, one of the people behind the scenes of uh, Colingo. And her and I were talking about, you know, um, that a lecture hall. Those of you who have been in university, um, lecture halls have been around since the Roman times. You know, people have been learning literally the same way um, since that many years ago and she asked me if I thought there needed to be a change and I'm like no I think it's great <laughs> so, um, but that's me so you were, uh, you were told that the way yeah I was and I enjoyed it and I learned a lot and I just I don't know I, I change is scary you know I, I, I also believe we have a saying in English that if it's not broke don't fix it and it's been a really effective way of learning for so long. Why change it? You know, it, if yeah, it's working, yeah, yeah. then then why why change it? So, anyways, all right. But, uh, you know that I uh, think it's a better way. Use a and, yeah, unless you can find a better way, I guess. Yeah, but you know, I never ever ever thought that um, as a teacher that this would be how I would teach. And I love it. It took me a while to get used to, though. I will say that because I'm so used to being um, in front of a classroom, you know. So I never thought that teaching online would be something that I would ever do. But um, yeah, but I love it. I love my job. So I found different ways for it, you know, 
there's the, the way the technology is there's I think it's gotten better you know there's a lot of things that you can utilize to make the online learning experience work better so yeah um, a data show <laughs> you prefer online <laughs> yeah see I don't know um, <laughs> I, I liked I liked going to class, but I, I was especially in school a long English. time ago. So say that again. Especially English, because without uh, yes. pronunciation is not directly. You have to know uh, international uh, mm -hmm. al phonic alphabetic. Uh, mm -hmm. Without it, you cannot read. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's true. That's true. Um, and lect, you know, the deal with with language learning, um, lecture halls would be different because when I, see when I was at university, our lecture halls would have like two hundred and fifty to three hundred students in one room. So your chances of being able to um, to ask a question to a teacher and whatnot. Um, drastically diminish. You can't really ask questions. So when it comes to language learning, um, I agree. You know, the small classrooms and whatnot are a lot better. Um, now, if somebody's just going to sit there and talk to you for a solid hour, I think lecture halls are fine um, about, you know, things like uh, literature or math or science, you know, if they're just up there going blah, 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 then lecture halls are good. But when we're trying to learn language as a team together, then the small classes are a lot better. I agree. So, um, data show, I'm assuming you're talking about screen share? Is that what you're talking about, Mustafa? Data oh, show? Oh, in power. Data show? Yeah. Yeah. Where are you, are, are, okay. Um, or like in PowerPoint? Okay. Is that what you're talking like about? Device. Uh, show some pages or like um, calling go teacher share his screen so data show the mm -hmm. same thing teacher yeah the class and connected his computer to the mm -hmm. data show and share his screen on whiteboard I yeah. don't like way yeah. I like teacher <laughs> stand yeah. and writing on the whiteboard yeah I like I like the whiteboard too um, for as long as I can use it I do use screen share a lot I don't like screen share because I can't manage my classroom I have, I have no idea who's coming and going I'll forget who's who's in class you know um, if somebody leaves and someone new comes so I like the whiteboard too plus you can see me and I can see you so but all right guys so Let's go over the questions again. So we'll see which ones you want to talk about next. We have, would you want to grow up in the public eye? So would you want to grow up being famous? Is violence ever an acceptable answer? Does age matter in a relationship? And is it okay for parents to spank their kids? <laughs> Okay, we have three votes for number four. Four votes for number four. Looks like looks like four is five votes for number four. All right. So, does age matter in a relationship? Victor, what do you think? Oh, I think uh, it doesn't matter. It does or doesn't? Doesn't. Doesn't? Okay, why? <clears throat> because uh, when you love someone, anything you start matter. Okay. Okay. All right. Is that it? That's all you want to add? So if if you love someone, then the age has just doesn't matter at all. Uh, I think that anything doesn't matter. Anything doesn't matter. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, Terrence, what do you think? Does age matter in a relationship? Oh, you're on mute. Uh, sorry. I, I, I think 
I think in some way it, it does matter, of course, because can you imagine a relationship between an old man and a very and a teenager lady? I mean, I, I, I was thinking in an American movie called Harold and Maud. It was a movie be, between uh, a, a young a, a young boy boy who falls in love with an older woman, and it was a very funny movie. But at the end of the movie, you can find out that that there are very difficult situations between them be, because the gap, the difference between age, is very large. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But in mm -hmm. ter but in terms in terms of the hurt of your feelings, you are never too old to love and be loved. Yeah, I agree. And be loved. That's so great. do you think? So um, so do you think like if you're like, you know, maybe. Four to five years apart, that doesn't really matter. But if you're no, even, 15 even, to 20 years even, apart, then it's a lot bigger difference. I think so. I, I, I think even seven years, even 10 years, a, a gap difference of 10 years is not a big difference. But more, I think, at the end of the day, I don't know. It it it, it depends on the on the, on the people who who are who are in love, and what are they looking for? You know what I mean? Because sometimes people we are very we move in very twisted twisted ways, because mm -hmm. sometimes we are not very honest with our with ourselves. Sometimes we don't know what we are really looking in in a relationship so it's a kind of dangerous situation if if someone is very mature and he knows how to to manage the the, the other who is younger than you know what i mean it's like a, like a puppeteer and a puppet uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah i don't yeah. know maybe i'm thinking too much no no i think no, no not at all okay. no i think it's wonderful no it's good you you speak very good english terence you've got a good command on the language so, oh, thank you very good, much. Thank you for your job. kindness. Good job. Um, what do you think, Sofian? I think it does matter. Okay. Because and why? Uh, you don't want to do things mm -hmm. in your relationship. You will regret when you get older. Mm -hmm. And. Um, what do you think is too much? How many how many years apart is too much? Maybe four. Four? Yes. Wow. <laughs> really? Yes. Okay. All right. How old are you, Sophia? Remind me again. Seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. Okay. All right. Y you know, you do have a well. Keep going, and then I'll 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 put I'll put in my two cents on that. Go ahead. Um, uh, I'm over. I finished. Oh, you're done? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the is always okay. sweetly done. You know, I, I think it kind of, you know, four years can be a lot. I, I mean, I don't, I don't disagree with you, Sophia. And I mean, um, my husband and I are actually four years apart. And now it doesn't matter. I mean, I'm, I'm 28. He's 32. We're at the same points in our life. But him and I have actually talked about it. If we had met a long time ago, like when I was 14 and he was 18, that's a big difference. You are in, I mean, one in, in the United States, one person is just starting high school. The other person is getting out of high school. And two, that's illegal. Um, in the United States, um, an 18-year-old and a 14-year-old, he'd be going to jail. Um, so four years can be a big difference. You know, 17 and a 21-year-old, huge difference. Um, you're in two totally different places in your life. But the older you get, I think the less it matters. But when you're young... Like your age, Sofian, I do agree that four years is too much. I completely agree. I completely agree. Um, yeah, and women do mature. Women do mature, but that still doesn't matter. I mean, the law's the law. I mean, <laughs> I don't think the courts care that the 14-year-old acts older than the 18-year-old boy. That boy's still 18, and he's still going to jail. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. So, there are no being problems. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So we didn't when my husband and I met, I was 
I was 21 and he was 25. So, and I was way more mature than he was. Um, anyways, <laughs> but, um, yeah. And then we got married, we got married when I was 23 and he was 27. So, and the, and the longer we've been married, the more close it seems we are in age. Um, when we first got married, I always was like, God, you're old, you know, <laughs> but now that we've been married for a long time and we've, you know, grown up together, it's not that big of a difference, you know, and I think in the later years in your life, um, large age differences can make a huge difference. You know, if you're talking like a 20 year age difference, you're talking a 30 year old with like a 50 year old again that's like two totally different you know different parts of your life that you're in you know same with like you're talking like an 80 year old with a 60 year old I mean that's it's a it can become a big big difference Weird. <laughs> yeah it can become a huge difference so I don't know Mustafa what do you think does age matter in a relationship Everybody has their own opinion, uh, so. I don't know about either. I will talk about myself. In my opinion, I think it's matter. Because <laughs> uh, the uh, difference should be not a huge. Mm -hmm. Should not be huge? Is that what you said? Mm, I, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. And why do you think that? Why do you think it shouldn't be a huge difference? Um, I uh, I see many people married and <laughs> don't think about age and uh, marriage. Uh, in my university, some teacher marriage other teacher, and <laughs> she is bigger than by 50, 50 years, fifteen Ooh. years old. I Yes, it's big, <laughs> old. Mm, I, she's she's older or I he's older. It's, she's she, older. She's older. Okay. Wow. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, for mm, I don't know. I think the A should be near, not mm -hmm. not differ huge. Mm -hmm. Maybe two or three years is acceptable. Four, maybe five. Okay. What do you think, Christoph? Oh, tough question. <laughs> uh, it's about uh, can you imagine uh, manage uh, with an environment? Uh, it's up to you. Uh, you can love somebody, but can you manage with environment with? Uh, neighbors with where you live mm -hmm. um, sometimes gaps is not matter sometimes is have matter and this is the most can you imagine uh, how I see can you manage with your environment yeah. are you are you talking just with like are you talking manage your environment in terms of how other people perceive your relationship? Or are you talking about um, in addition to or or um, and or um, managing the environment, so to speak, of if you're in a relationship with a large age difference that you are able to understand where the other person is coming from? Is that what you mean by managing the environment that you're in? I'm thinking about uh, people, about neighbors, your clothes, mm -hmm. uh, environment. Okay, okay. So being Sometimes able to... Sometimes you cannot m manage because uh, there's some pressure in cultural or something. Uh, is, uh, but uh, you... Uh, uh, neighbors uh, don't like uh, sometimes uh, if uh, older woman marry some younger man. Or... 
Do you think it's harder for people to accept an older woman with a younger man or an older man with a younger woman? Mm, I don't know because I don't care. I don't yeah. care uh, what uh, people think about me. I care uh, what my family think about me, my close friends. If uh, I meet somebody and uh, he talk about me, something bad, guy, who are you? Go away. Yeah, gotcha. Uh-huh. Yeah. Juan, what do you think? Does age matter in a relationship? Definitely. Definitely it matters. Uh, I think, uh, well, uh, we can talk about um, uh, what kind of relationship, because if you are getting friends with someone younger or older than you, I think age doesn't matter. But if you are thinking in a marital relationship, oh my God, uh, it, it definitely depends, uh, matters because uh, I, I don't know who says that these stories don't last uh, much time or, or don't last so much because uh, definitely in, in, in one part or, or in one point of her life is going to be a, a difficult uh, because of the age. That's my opinion. Okay. Anton, what do you think? Does age matter? Well, it's a difficult question, and, and you're completely right. It depends on age. So when you're young, when you're 15, and you have a boyfriend, and he's 16, it's a huge difference. But when you're, you know, 25 or 30, it's, um, I mean, it doesn't matter, 25 or 30. And, of course, it's a bit... You know, stupid to see a girl is 20 and uh, is nam is man uh, who is uh, you know 80, for instance. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit you know I don't know, a bit strange. Ridiculous. And, uh -huh. Yeah, and every everybody knows the you know the reason <laughs> about this relationship. So mm -hmm. that means um, I don't know. It it makes. It, it does matter, but of course it depends on on age, and of course it really depends on what is the kind of relationship. So, mm -hmm. if it's your you know husband and wife, you know family, it's one story. And if you, if you are you know uh, just a friend relationship, of course you know you can be 25 and have some uh, 80 friend and you know have something something in common, you know, to talk, to discuss. So it's, it's just my opinion. It's, it's my, from my perspective. Yep. Yep, absolutely. Um, Adolfo, what do you think? Um, pretty much what the other people said. I think that I always thought that age didn't matter, but I realized it kind of matters. But it's a personal choice. I mean, people can choose whatever they want for their lives if they are comfortable with being with someone with a totally different age. Uh, I don't care, but if, I mean, if they are uh, over the legal age, because if they are too young, it, it totally matters. But, I mean, it's a personal choice. I, I really don't care what, what people choose, but if they are comfortable with, okay, but I know that in some point in the future, they are going to face some problems because of this decision you know, with totally different age. So I think it's better for them to be in some relationship with someone with a close age. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's always been my my point about um, for for romantic relationships, which I think is the context that we're putting this into. Is is a romantic? Hey, Carlos. <laughs> so yeah, in a romantic relationship, I think the the point that I've always thought about is uh, when you're in that, depending on your age, you can be in two totally different parts of your life or points in your life, and how that will or will not 
affect your romantic relationship with a person. You know, Chris, Christoph brought up about handling the environment outside of the relationship. Well, in my opinion, it's almost like you also have to consider handling the environment within your relationship. You know, are you, if you, let's say you're, um, let's say you're 50 and your spouse is 30. Are you going to be able to handle personally within yourself that your spouse is that much younger and at a totally different part in your life? You know, um, some of you know I'm pregnant. You know, if I was married, if my husband was a lot older than me and was 50 and more than likely it was prob had probably had kids from a previous relationship or whatnot and his kids are grown and he's done, you know, being a dad, is he really going to want to start all over with somebody as young as, as myself, you know, or am I willing to give up what I want as a young woman to be with someone that much older? I don't know if this is making sense, but, and I think it's possible. There are relationships that we call them, by the way, in English, we call them May December relationships. Uh, May December relationships basically means that it's a young woman with a much older man, um, and the 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 point of that I that it, it does it it can work it can. Um, my aunt was married to a man who was 17 years older than her, and they were very very happy. I have good friends that. Uh, same thing. They're 17 years apart. Um, now, she never wanted children, and he had already had kids, so it worked out. But again, I, no, not rich. <laughs> no, not at all. Um, but um, I think it depends on what, you know, what you personally want out of life. You know, do you want something? If you guys both want the same things out of life, um, then it can work. If you don't, then you might run into some problems. Yeah, modern family. Yes, yes. <laughs> that's perfect. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, and that's a, that's a situation where it does seem like it's, you know, where it's working. Granted, that's Hollywood, but, <laughs> yes. um, you know, it's, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and the possibilities are, are probably less. But if you find the right person, then it can work. So, yeah. All right, let's get one more question in before class is up. So the three that we have left to discuss, um, would you want to grow up in the public eye? Is violence ever an acceptable answer? And is it okay for parents to spank their kids? Spank, by the way, means to hit them on the butt if they're in trouble. <laughs> we have three for five, two for three. And let's see. Who hasn't voted? Anton, you voted. Adolfo, you voted one. Oh, man, three and three. It is a tie. I don't know if, I don't know, three and five could, I guess, be discussed together, but I kind of had a different idea of where number three would go. We'll do number five. I always like to talk about people's opinions on raising children. <laughs> so, um, I'm showing you authority. <laughs> so, we'll, yeah, we'll do five. We'll do five. Five works. Five works. Um, all right, so... Is it okay to spank your kids? What do you think? Anton, what do you think? Is, fi is, is it okay to spank your kids? <laughs> okay. You know, I, I don't have a, any kids yet. It's okay. So. I don't either. I don't know if many of us do. But that's all right. We can still give our opinions. Yeah, and of course, it's very easy <laughs> to, to talk about that. But, you know, I think it's okay. I think it's okay, because, you know, they're young, they don't know a lot, and uh, you have to push your kids and spank your kids, and uh, it's good. But it really depends. 
So you you don't need to beat your your kid or or something. It it should be um, in some you know proper way. And uh, you know also my opinion of uh, you know even kids um, they must have a goal. You see, so for instance, we are you know adults and we have a work and we have to go to work and get money and have some goals. Kids also you know like adults and they have a goal, some kind of motivation, and you don't need to you know buy something without any reason for your kids. So you have to insist, and uh, you know your kid should deserve some some toys you know I'm talking about big toys like Sony PlayStation or something and uh, in that case it will work so you are just gonna you know a good marks from from school and you're gonna to get for instance iPad in the end of the year for instance so you're a really you nice know. parent <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm I'm not yet. <laughs> I know I'm just teasing. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Um, in some day, yes. So something so like that. It's just um, my opinion. So if as long as they're doing things the way they're supposed to be doing, then they need to be rewarded. And if they're screwing up, then yeah, <laughs> yeah, yep. yep. they have to be motivated, and uh, they you know have to be rewarded. And uh, they have to have a goal, so mm -hmm. you know every day uh, should make sense for for them, for okay. all of kids. All right, Juan, what do you think? Do you have kids, Juan? Uh, well, I I think is um, but necessary. Is or is uh, not? Is is necessary, is, okay. but but uh, I don't believe in the you have to sprint all the times so, and whatever they they do uh, I think it, it, it really deserve it only when they really deserve mm -hmm. do you have kids yeah two yeah. I have two older kids yes two older I, kids? I think I think I only sprint two times in her life so I, I think it's only when in the because I remember my childhood. I were, I grew up uh, with my father spent all the time. So I I need to uh, or I want to avoid this uh, to to do this to my sons. So mm -hmm. that's why. Yep. What do you think, Christoph? Oh, such a difficult question. Uh, Okay, I want to put uh, some question on the age, and uh, you cannot do that. I think uh, uh, from uh, one to uh, zero to five, uh, you can spank uh, between five and uh, twenty because uh, after twenty uh, they can run away. 20? Yes. Really? After 20, I think. Wow. Okay. 20, 20, 20, 20 12. 12, Sorry. okay, 12. Yeah. Okay, I was when like, I'm 20, talking, wow. I'm more, more the same. <laughs> oh, no, 12. Okay. Yes, yeah. is, what is my. When I talk in my missing something. No, it's okay. No worries. Yeah. Twelve. Okay. So uh, five after, and twelve. Uh -huh. Yes, because after after twelve they can uh, run away, and uh, you have to punish in different way, uh, like uh, stop computers. <laughs> stop. So uh, I think uh, you can punish by spanking between uh, five and twelve. Okay. Mustafa, what do you think? Is spanking okay? <laughs> uh, I talk, I didn't have any kids, but I talk how my parents uh, treat with me, so I think it's not for me. <laughs> it's not for you? Because my parents, <laughs> my parents didn't hit me in any day. <laughs> Okay, okay. So, so you've never I been spanked as a child? 
Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I think if I if I have a child, I want to give him love and deep in the situation. There are many ways to deal with the child, like you can prevent him to play games if if he or she do something wrong or uh, I can talk to him and be the best friend of my children. Uh, I can be very near from him. I can be more love so if they love me more if they love me more from anything they do everything I want. I think okay. that is the best way. Good luck with that. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so, Vianne, so what do you think? What do you think? Is thinking okay? No, I don't think so. No? Okay. Because um, violence is never the answer. Okay. And, uh, and I grew up watch a TV show called, called Super Nanny. Do you know it? Yes, I know it. <laughs> yes, so I learned much that we don't have to spank your children. You have just to ground them. And instead of uh, spanking them, you should go and talk with them, see why they are doing the, the other things. Mm -hmm. It's better than spanking, I guess. Okay. All right. Uh, Terence, what do you think? Yeah, I agree with Mustafa and with Sofian. I think it shouldn't be allowed to spank your kids, except in unusual or extreme situation, and always after a proper talking or conversation with a little boy. I think punishment is n never the answer. You, you can teach a young boy to 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 be obedient through the violence or through the pu through any kind of punishment. I think it's better to talk with him. No matter how uh, how young or how old is he, you have to to try to to try to he to understand that he has been doing something who was born, he has to behave uh, uh, politely. Um, I, I, don't, I don't I don't agree with violence with any kind of violence because uh, I don't like. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, Adolfo, what do you think? Um, I don't know. Um, the definition of spank is only to put the child at the bottom. Yeah, on the bottom. Yeah, on their bottom. It doesn't mean to put them in other places. No, not not my no, not my under a spanking in the United States. Spanking this the definition of spanking is to hit your child on their butt. That's the def not in the face. Not anywhere but the butt. So, yeah. Um, That's the okay. definition here in the U.S. Yeah. Is Shanae? Uh huh. Is that true? If you spend your kids, you can go into jail. No, it's not. No. Oh, okay. No. In Sweden. Is that in Sweden? Okay. Yeah. Uh, no. They idiot to do that. They, they've tried to pass laws here where they've tried to outlaw spanking, but it's never worked. It's, it's, it, the laws have never passed because uh, it's... Does it consider a domestic it, violence? No. No? No. no I, I mean, if it, if it reaches to a certain escalating, you know, an escalating point, then yes, um, then it's considered child abuse. But, I mean, a, a child who is being bad and their parent takes their hand and hits them on the butt three or four times, that's, that's considered acceptable. So. But it's, it's a still child. There are many ways to direct him and advise him. There are many things. I was faked. <laughs> I'll be honest. TV. I was faked. I was faked. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Not you, a lot. You were a spoiled. No, I was. I was very spoiled. I was. I was I'm an only child. I'm the only one. I have no brothers. I have no sisters. So I was very spoiled. And I can only I can literally only remember one time. 
that I ever got spanked. And um, my mom never used, um, some parents will use like spoons and belts and stuff to spank their kids. My parents were not like that. Um, it was just an open, an open face hand. And um, I, I don't, I, I remember it. Do I like hate my mom? Because no, I deserved it. Um, I was being a brat. Um, you know, so I mean, I completely 100% deserved it. So, um, that's, you know, that's, that's the, my personal experience with it. So. Yeah. When I do something wrong, when I'm sad, my mom or dad to invent me sometimes to show, uh, to watch TV or, or my favorite on for one day. That was when I got older. <laughs> I mean, when I got older, I mean, that, I mean, when I got spanked, I was probably like maybe six or seven. I mean, I was little, you know, I wasn't like, uh, and granted, I'm a lot older than, than Mustafa. And so I'm a lot, a lot of us are a lot older than you guys. So we didn't have PlayStations. We didn't have computers. We didn't have cell phones. We didn't have any of that stuff. So to be able to take that away, there was no option to take it away because they didn't exist. So, you know. Um, so, you know, being, being spanked was, was commonplace, so. Maybe prevent to ride horse for one day. No, that was, that was, that was different. Horses were, um, I mean, it wasn't, that wasn't a pun, I mean, that was never used as punishment because my horses depended on me for exercise and care, so that was never used as, as punishment, um. When I got older, more of my punishment was like, you're not allowed to go out with your friends, you're not allowed to talk on the phone, yes. you know, that mm -hmm. kind of thing. But as yes. a little kid, you know, there wasn't, you know, there wasn't that option. So, but I was a pretty good kid. I really was. Like I said, I can only remember one time that I ever got spanked. Um, hey, well, and like I, I said, I, I, hey, I deserved she. it. I don't know. <laughs> I deserved it. So. I was a brat, total Wait, brat. <laughs> so, but Adolfo, what do you think? What do you think about thinking? We never heard what you had to say. Uh, just one question: when, with, and what's the definition? What's the word for using when the parents don't just hit on the butt? S say that again. What's the word that we use when the parents hit their, their children, not only the butt? Not only on the butt, um, like if they hit him in the face, that's a slap. That's a slap. And if they, um, you also have like um, parents will grab their kids by their arms sometimes. 